Hi everyone, it's Natalie here back with another message for you guys today. I hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you guys for all your love, support, your likes, subscribe, shares, and if it goes unnoticed, it's greatly appreciated. All right, keep in mind energy can be reversed, time is fluid. All right. Also, keep in mind that I'm doing weekly uh, zodiac sign readings on my TikTok. So if you're interested, you're more than welcome to uh, go to my TikTok, okay, for your zodiac sign weekly, okay? I don't post them every day, just once a week. All right, so let's see what's going on with the collective in this reading. Let's see, what is the energy for the collective in this reading? Let's see what we have. Holy Spirit and angels. All right, so we have the Seven of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Looks like there's no clarity in the situation. Something here isn't like exactly closed out quite yet, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, the High Priestess in reverse. Looks like someone doesn't have clarity because uh, they're not following their intuition. It's kind of giving me the feeling of someone fighting a ghost. There's a dark practitioner involved. Maybe someone here was listening to a dark practitioner or a dark high priestess here. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Someone seems to be blocked. Then we have the star in the reverse. Okay. So it looks like someone is either in denial or they don't have any clarity about a situation. It could be you guys or it just could be someone around you. Someone thought that if they kept a secret from you, or if they kept a secret, then something here wouldn't attack them. But it is attacking them. It's going right back to them because there's something here about justice, what's right, and keeping everything balanced here. There's some energy going back on somebody here that didn't have enough intuition or they didn't have enough information. Someone is wondering why a cycle didn't close out or a chapter isn't closing out. It's because they don't have enough information. This also could be you. Um, maybe there's something that needs to be clarified first. Uh, judgment in the verse. Yeah, the wrong judgment call. Let's see. What is this talking about? Whoever this is, though, I don't know. I feel like someone, hmm, someone doesn't have information. They don't have clarity. They think that they can predict or judge something, but they cannot. Knight of Wands. Give me one more for the outcome. Yeah, Six of Wands. Okay. With the Seven of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay, yeah. There's like a dark practitioner, a dark witch, dark reader, dark high priestess here. Um, he or she thinks that they can predict people's lives or something, but they're, they, they're locked out of information. Someone doesn't have any information on somebody here. This person could be under judgment or they misjudged a situation because they were heavily in denial or lack of clarity or ignorance not willing to see something here i feel like you see something and you're going to be moving forward you're going to be successful with something here you're going to overcome a lot and someone may even have to like eat their words or their preconceived notions about a certain situation or you what's this talking about why the seven of wands in the reverse someone thought that they had a good fight or a good um yeah, Five of Swords in reverse. They thought that they had like a good fight or good information or someone was doing some sort of like warlike energy with you and it wasn't working. I'm also getting like, whoever this person is, you know that they always have the wrong information. Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. She always has the wrong information. She's just yapping her trap. She doesn't know what she's talking about. This could also be someone that like, they could have a position of a high priestess and someone listens to them a lot. But whoever this person is, they're trying to control you or someone else here. Someone didn't know that you, would, you wouldn't you would take their advice or that you would take their advice when it comes to something. This person is like a liar or it seems like they... They're really good with their words try to put someone underneath some sort of spell but it didn't work out why the queen of swords in the reverse 
yeah, the Six of Swords reverse. This person is stuck. They cannot move on. Or they say things to keep people stuck so that they can't move on. So that their home will be unbalanced. Yeah, with the yeah, this is magic. Someone is like a witch. They know what they're doing. They say things to compete with people. So I don't know if this is a reader, but this would be someone that tells you the wrong information on purpose. Or maybe they they think that you trust them is basically what I'm getting here. Ace of Swords in the reverse. They think that you trust them and they can tell you anything. But little do you know, you become enlightened. Yeah, we have the tower in the reverse. You come enlightened. Or someone is like, they want you to follow their lead or listen to what they say. Yeah, but that's, that's over. You're changing anyway. Yeah, three cups in reverse. These are people that, that are low vibrational. They don't want you to do better than them. So, of course, they're not going to tell you, like, how to do something or of course they're not going to uh be pleased when you succeed with the six of wands here picking up scorpio pisces energy too why the world in the reverse the ten of pentacles something about a legacy they want you to have missing pieces they want missing pieces to be here. But you know that there's missing pieces. Yeah, the King of Swords with the Four of Cups in reverse. They, they kind of want you in the energy of rejection. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't want you getting excited about something. That's what this is about. So they're trying to guide you down the wrong path. Or they're trying to... This is definitely a dark uh, high priestess here. Someone is giving you the wrong information on purpose, so be careful who you listen to. This will also be like family members too that don't want you to succeed above them. Page of Pentacles in the reverse with the lovers here. Yeah, this could also be about a lover situation. Someone is giving you the wrong information about your soulmate or your lover here. I'm getting someone like they're saying things like, "How? what can I say? What can I do? What, what advice can I give here? So please be careful who you're listening to. Okay, this could definitely be a reader. I don't know. It, it's something off about them. Clarify the high priestess in the reverse. Either they're giving the wrong information or they don't even know what's going on or they're dark. We have the Wheel of Fortune here with the sun. Yeah, so it's like they... They're having outbursts or they're exposing their true nature because they don't want you to meet your person or they see that you're happy or things are turning in your favor and they're trying to slow something down here. Hmm. It looks like everything is turning in your favor, like you're getting good karma. Someone is happy with you and I don't know, it's like a, it feels like it could be family, but I'm really getting dark high priestess here. They don't want you to get too excited. Everything is going back on this person though. Eight of Wands in the reverse. What's this about? Or someone is blocked from your success. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. With the Hierophant, why do I feel like someone is manipulating their leadership position? They're a leader and they want to be, they want to, they want you to follow or something like that. Someone is not self-sufficient. They don't love themselves or something like that, but they have a position. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Emperor. I'm also getting like the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse could be you guys because you're no longer going to be um, independent. You're pretty much, you're going into a uh, connection fast. So someone's information is wrong. This is weird. Like someone is giving the wrong information on purpose because the real information is right here. You're happy. You're heading into a connection. You're getting good luck and fortune. You're not going to be, um, you're going to be in a contract soon, a good contract with an actual emperor, or you are an emperor thinking about marriage or something like that. And someone's trying to guide you down the wrong path, or they're trying to, 
give you the wrong information here because they're stuck or they're trying to give you the wrong information to keep you stuck. Clarify the star in the reverse. This person might not be healed. I don't feel like they're healed. Seven of Swords reverse, they're not. They can't, someone can't be trusted. Someone's been caught doing this before. They've been caught doing this before. Also, I feel like if someone did this in the past, you know how to block this person. Because someone's been caught doing this. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Someone is real jealous. They just need energy. Someone has a lack of energy, vitality. They're not healthy. They can't heal. They're really jealous of things just being balanced in your life. Yeah, but the King of Cups in the reverse. Four of Swords here. You think you know a person. There's someone here uh, mad about... What? I don't get it. So you could be leaving a toxic person behind and moving on to something else easily, like that fast. But someone is saying no. It's like something here is not ready yet. But it's really because you are leaving a King of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Someone is saying it's you're moving too fast or something. But you know you. You know your story or something. Clarify judgment in the reverse. You know, want to know what I think it is. I feel like you have an ex or someone that's around you that's manipulating energy around you, making you feel like you're moving too fast or something. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. There's something about this person's energy. You feel them. You feel their jealousy. You feel like they're uh, energy vampirism. They just want energy from you. So you feel it. You're very unattracted. Like, you're not attracted to this person at all. Yeah, the temperance reverse. They can be a Sagittarius. You're dropping them. They're too burdensome. They're they're always angry or they make you angry all the time. It's like you, you shouldn't be listening to this person or you shouldn't have this person in your energy. Or they're working with a high priestess or multiple. I feel like they're working with women here. Witches, spiritual people to get you to stay stuck to them. Clarify the hangman in the reverse. Six uh, pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you know what you're doing. There's an energy of like, um, not all readers, but just keep your information to yourself because some readers are really trying to tap into energy and see what you're doing. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, the empress is here. You're enlightened. You know you're the empress. There's the emperor. So you do have a soul contract with somebody, but some be careful of people's advice. They'll say things like, you will be dumb to jump into it or something like that. Yeah, five of cups in the reverse is here. I feel like also you mean business. You're not in the energy of like listening to people right now. You're not in the energy of listening to people that aren't married or uh have messed up contracts or there's someone out here giving people advice and they don't need to be giving people advice at all it's like they have anger problems or something but i feel like there's this person's being used by a man yeah look it's a couple here this person's being used by some sort of man here because they don't want you to end up in a contract with an emperor a taurus an aries whoever your ex is they could be a libra cancer Scorpio. You could be a Leo Gemini. Taurus Libra. Why the uh, Knight of Wands? You could be traveling or someone is traveling towards you. Knight of Wands. Someone could be like sexually frustrated or something, but they're blocked. Hold on. Yeah, two of cups in the reverse. I'm also getting that with your love life, you must have changed your type or something because you're blocking past energies or something or anyone that's not on your level, you're blocking them and people are like, what's going on? Or 
why can I get through? Yeah, I feel like you're attracting a lot of people towards you, but only certain people can get in or there's one specific person that you're waiting for. So I feel like there's like, there could be exes here or something. Exes working through practitioners too. Working through other women also. Hey, tell the collective they're moving on too fast so that they'll stay stuck or tell the collective that you know, they'll never find anyone like me. They could be doing stuff like that. Clarify the Six of Wands. Four of Swords. You're going to be able to rest. You're going to be okay. You're going to be in a lot of victory. You're going to have a lot of victory here. Something here is not your issue. You are being called to heal, though. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. You are being called to heal. There's something here about going to the spa. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Who is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? There's women here. Knight of Wands or Knight of Swords. There's some women here that are in like really, uh, I don't know, I guess they don't have a twin flame or they don't have a soulmate or they don't have anyone sticking by their side. So of course they don't want you to move on or move forward. Yeah, two of wands with the two of pentacles. Someone is also juggling their money and you don't care. You're also like, you're just moving forward, keeping your energy to yourself. I'm also getting like, if this is a family member, you know how to work them. You know how they are. You know how they act. So you're not really in the business of like paying them any attention or you know how to like set up barriers with this person. <sighs> Keep your emotions in check is what I just heard. Because someone may be trying to throw you off because you're too balanced. Someone is definitely not self-sufficient and they want you to be that way. Yeah, the Six of Wands is out here again. You're going to be very successful or you're very unbothered by this magic or this information. People like to call you hard-headed because you're not listening to them. But it's when you have justice in your life, you're not... I feel like you have God popping up in your life, showing you how how blessed you are. You're going to overcome things and gain your victory, gain your success, but it's just simply gaining balance. People don't even want you to gain balance. They want you to be unbalanced. Yeah, so whatever, they didn't master something when it came to you. I feel like people were trying to do work on you and waiting for it to manifest. It's not manifesting on you. Yeah, the lovers in verse is a karmic uh, situation. It's a karmic soulmate or something. False twin flame. Someone that you're not supposed to be with. I feel like you have multiple people wondering why you're not messaging them or they're expecting something from you. Yeah, you're starting something new. I'm hearing like you're getting a new life or something. You're getting a new life. Your life is balanced here. The work on you that they try to put on you is not working. The Six of Cups is here. So you're gaining justice over your childhood or you will be. Something about childhood trauma here. Or things are being balanced with uh, children. You could be like going to court for children and you're going to be pleased with the outcome of something. Knight of Cups. page of cups in the reverse so there's a real offer coming in and there's a fake offer of course there's a hater coming in and then there's someone that like actually genuinely wants to date you or something but you know what's what yeah we have the ace of cups here ten of pentacles in reverse someone wants to taint your legacy by keeping you stuck and rejected so that they can be free they're trying to free themselves from something and keep you stuck Someone could be trying to get you guys pregnant. Clarify the uh, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Or this was their plan and it didn't work. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. They can't work on somebody that's self-sufficient or has, you know, their life together. Okay, Five of Wands in reverse with the Emperor and the Empress. 
Yeah, someone is like trying to cause war between you and your real divine masculine or divine feminine here. Yeah, I'm hearing like you're grown enough for something here too. It's like you're not immature or you're not um, naive or something. So I feel like someone's trying to throw magic and they could be using readers to do this to you. Trying to slow you down, tell you that your divine masculine doesn't want you, they're not committed or something like that. Or they're not ready yet or something, but... Sometimes when that when that happens, some readers don't even know that they're reading against you. They feel like they're doing you justice by telling you things like that because of how the cards may come out. But in other situations, some readers know what they're doing and they don't they don't like you. They don't like people that have um, high vibrational relationships, especially you don't want to get readings for people that are not in relationships. You don't want to get readings for people that aren't married or not trying to be or no one wants them. Why would you want a reading from someone like that? You know, because it's like, it's like a lot of chastising. It's like someone feels like they have to correct you all the time. They don't have to correct you. It's like, you know what you're doing? Or someone out here in your family does that a lot. They feel like they have to correct you a lot, but you're mature enough to know what you're doing. Three of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Someone was expecting you to carry their burden. Yeah, Queen of Wands, you're not doing that. You're too confident to carry someone else's burdens. You're strong enough to do it, but you're not going to do it. You're not carrying someone's responsibilities, burdens, or... Um, I'm also hearing it's not your fault what people think about you or feel about you. That's none of your business. Yeah, Eight of Swords in the verse. People want you to stay stuck in how they feel about you. It's like how they feel about you is supposed to control you, I guess. Clarify the uh, lovers in the reverse. Someone needs to accept that they're a karmic. Or that they're in a karmic relationship. They're trying to make it seem like you are in one or you're, if you move too fast, you're a karmic or something like that. That's not true. That's not true. We have temperance here. Because what's for you will be for you. Okay, we have temperance here with the ten of swords in the reverse. Yeah, so you alchemize something here. A relationship, some sort of betrayal. I'm getting like in a relationship, you were the peaceful one or you you had a lot of things done to you but it didn't end you or something i'm also getting the energy of resurrection someone wanted to take you out one of your exes did someone wants you unprotected this is what i'm getting here they want you unprotected they don't want you guided correctly so they're manipulating things they're probably doing spell ma spell work spell magic i was gonna say spell magic Because they like really don't like what you're doing or they don't like where you're going. Page of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so we have the Hermit in the reverse. Someone thought they had you all figured out, huh? Four of Cups in the reverse, yeah. They thought they had you all figured out like you would be always be rejected or that you would listen to their advice and just go with it. I don't know why I'm getting like a reader or something. Like someone that you could look at them. Yeah, higher front in the reverse. You look at them like a leader or something or spiritual guidance. They're not telling you the right information. The devil in the reverse, you know this. The empress, you're grown. A lot of you guys, I'm not even going to lie. A lot of you guys are too balanced to be listening to tarot at all. Some of you guys don't need it anymore. And that's where the spell work kicks in. Yeah, I can't make this up. The moon. Some of you guys are too grown for it now. You guys have outgrown it. And you don't need it anymore. Someone wants you sucked back in. That's why listening to tarot can be very dangerous, especially when you're not paying attention to who you're listening to. People will do anything to keep people stuck in cycles. They'll tell you to go back to an ex. Or not move so not move so quickly or something like that. They'll be like, hey, your person's here, your person's here, but wait, wait, wait. It's like those type of readers, you know what I mean?
<sighs> and then they were they suggest that you listen to them all the time. Clarify the uh, six of cups with the fool. Five of cups in the reverse. You're not worried about your childhood anymore. You're starting something new. Like I said, I feel like you've outgrown these people, this person, this community. Now, I read tarot because I like to read tarot, not because I want my collective to stay stuck to their exes. It doesn't make any sense. What's that got to do with me? I don't know my collective or their exes. These people are treating you like they know your exes personally or they know your divine masculine personally or something. They don't. So what? I don't understand how it's any other business. Someone thought that like you would always be listening to them or guide or that you they would always guide you or something clarify the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here high priestess in reverse someone is giving you guys the wrong information about new love i'm not gonna lie they're not following their intuition about it queen of cups because they know that you're loved by somebody it's like they're having outbursts right now You have more intuition than this person. This is supposed to be a practitioner, a spiritualist, or someone that's supposed to be highly ranked. And you you have more intuition than this person. That's why I always tell people to take what resonates, leave what does not. Now, everything in the reading is supposed to be your energy. Or, I don't know, like, maybe practitioners or readers don't know that they're doing it. Like I said, us readers, we post a lot. So, you're not really supposed to be taking everything we say um, wholeheartedly, right? So, a lot of you guys are listening to readings that are not your readings. That's also what I'm getting here. They're not your readings at all. And you're taking everything that a specific reader... Every time I post, people attack me when it's not their reading. It's not the reading. It has nothing to do with their situation, but they get really offended by it, by it, or they feel like it's it's pertaining to them, or they start getting confused. Oh, I thought you said this in the last reading. Maybe that was your reading, and this one isn't. Like people are driving themselves crazy when they listen to certain things like this. But I'm also getting like a, a practitioner or a reader or someone like this trying to confuse somebody. So be careful. It's like they're doing it on purpose. Don't confuse yourself either. You know what's going on. Yeah, clarity of belief. You know what's going on. You have clarity. Someone else either does not have clarity. They feel like they can rule you or run you. Or you have to take what resonates in people's readings. Or if this is not a reader, this could be someone that gives you advice. And, you know, you can politely decline their advice. They're giving you information based off of their trauma. And it has nothing to do with you. Just be careful with that. It's like someone is trying to make you live their trauma. And it didn't even happen to you. It happened to them. We have change here in reverse with acceptance in reverse. Someone cannot accept the change here. They cannot accept that you've healed. Guys, this is definitely a reader. I'm not even going to make this up. This is someone who likes to take control over their collective by making them do cycles over and over again instead of wanting them to find someone new or something we have lead here guilt adversity in the reverse and happiness in the reverse someone put you through a lot of adversity too okay we have grief here yeah someone is in grief that you have clarity you're not taking their advice anymore they're sad about this i don't understand this could be literally anyone though, but it's really giving me spiritual leader or something. They want people to keep coming back to them or something. Or this could, like I said, this could be someone that you can't take all the readings personally. You cannot, not all of them are for you. That's what I'm getting for this. So just be careful. Everyone is in different stages in their healing journey. Maybe you heard a reading and it just wasn't your story, but you took it like it was your story. Yeah, purpose. I know what I'm here to do. You don't need someone to... Someone is like constantly... I don't... 
I, it's kind of giving me like the energy like they're doing it on purpose but for others of you they're not doing it on purpose it's just some things aren't going to be your energy it's like if i post something and it's directed to a, a specific person and then all these people are wearing the shoe that doesn't fit right it's kind of like that energy you have to be careful you have to know your purpose and know what you're here to do so that you don't get um bamboozled or confused and then you wind up hating the person that gave you the advice and you weren't supposed to take that advice anyway. It wasn't It wasn't for you. Yeah, healing begins is in the reverse. Someone you haven't, hasn't even began healing, okay? Yeah, self-esteem. It's a self-esteem issue. Someone can't accept that you have high self-esteem too. They're not willing to fathom it yet. They're not ready to hear it yet. I don't know. What the heck is this? Someone's not ready to hear it. Like, they're not ready to accept. I can't make this up. This is a reader. And that's crazy because you should, you should want your collective to evolve. But when your collective isn't evolving, I guess that's when you get the most views. I don't know. So they're using that to their advantage. Yeah, they want someone to be confused. You're not confused. You took their advice and you politely said, nah, I'm not confused. It's like you don't hate the person. This could also be a family member, by the way, that usually does give you advice. But you're just like, nah, I know what I'm here to do. I know what's going on here. You could definitely be... Uh, someone is trying to get you to not withdraw from them. You guys could... You guys could, for a minute, be taking a break from listening to tarot. And I wouldn't blame you. It's like when you have high self-esteem, you just listen to you're just listening to it for entertainment. When you have low self-esteem, you're listening to tarot to get validation. You're listening you're listening to it because you don't have your own intuition, you don't have your own gut feeling, you have no clarity, okay? We were all like that in the beginning, but eventually you're going to outgrow it. And I feel like someone doesn't want you to outgrow it. So just be careful who you're listening to. Okay, so we have origin in the reverse. Initiation, creativity, and vitality. Someone doesn't have any creativity. Okay, uh, mirror making. Yeah, they're not, they're not doing something for the right reason. They're not. This could be a friend or something that can't control you. Like you're friends with them, but you're not going to let them control you. Okay, imagination in the reverse. What is with this person? They have no imagination, no creativity because they're disturbed. They're disturbed by something. They have like an entity on them. Trap in the reverse. My ears are ringing. They try to put you guys in a trap. It's not working. Triumph in the reverse. Perseverance. Yeah, you're still moving forward here. A lot of, like I said, you guys, a lot of you guys aren't listening to tarot anymore. You're clearly just doing it for entertainment. It can become an addiction at times, but at least you're not listening to it to make moves in your life. You already know the moves you want to make even without it. And that's what this person doesn't like. They feel like they lost control or they thought that they were leading you. This person is not a good person. They don't like people with imaginations. They don't want you to use your imagination. They want you to listen to them. Daydream in the reverse. Yeah, they don't want you to like dream or have an imagination. They have like no goals or dreams or something. Indulgence in the reverse. You don't want to be anywhere near this person or you don't want to get advice from any advice from them anymore. And I don't feel like it's yeah, friendship is here. I don't feel like it's a I don't know, it could be a bad friend, but it's just giving me like people <sighs> You guys got friends, family members, colleagues, or even spiritual advisors that don't want you to get excited about something in your life that's going on. They don't want you getting too excited because, I don't know, they haven't completed something in their life yet or they're just disturbed. They haven't got the monkey off their back yet. So why would they coach you to get the monkey off your back? It's, it's crazy. You guys are persevering, though. You guys are jumping hurdles right now. 
they thought that they could have triumph over you or succeed or do this thing where they can like control you or something that's not working i'm also hearing like this person's ancestors don't appreciate what they're doing like they don't, they don't have any origins or they have like no authenticity or something they have no creativity so they're trying to block people with creativity and their own ideas all right guys so i'm gonna do um i might do another one uh if i do i'll post it tomorrow because i'm trying to do one a day i hope this one resonated for you if it did go ahead and like subscribe share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos i'll see you next time thanks bye